Hello everyone. Welcome to the chapter Everything I Need to Know. I learned in the forest by Vandana Shiva. Hope you have gone through the earlier video I have shared with you uh, to refresh the memory. Today we are starting from page 72 of the textbook from the subtitle Rights of Nature on the Global Stage. The text or the paragraph is given on one side of the video and the explanation is given on the other side. You can pause the video and read the paragraph or you can read the paragraph from the textbook then listen to the explanation so this is para 10 the state of Ecuador you might have heard of the state of Ecuador Ecuador recognized the rights of nature in its constitution inspired by this United Nations organized a conference on harmony with the nature what happened was that in the constitution of the country Ecuador they recognized that nature has its own rights just like human beings so this was quite an inspiration and United Nations organized a conference on the harmony with the nature the important discussion uh, was about stopping the domination domination means ruling over something exerting power over something so the important discussion in this United Nations uh, conference was that stopping the domination of people over nature and stopping the domination of men over women and stopping the domination of rich over poor so this was the message of the conference conducted by United Nations now we are going to para 11 next para so UN Secretary General issued a report what was the report the report was called harmony with nature it tells about the importance of going back to nature human beings are inseparable part of nature if you are destroying nature you are destroying yourself we fail to understand this truth that is why we destroy nature so it's a very evident and very simple idea the conference put forward the idea of harmony with the nature see human beings should understand that human beings are inseparable part of nature if you are trying to destroy nature you are destroying yourself so unfortunately we are not ready to understand the, this fact that is why we are destroying nature now coming to next para or para 12 so what is the cause of disharmony with the nature why human beings are not you know, living harmoniously with the nature what is the cause of disharmony it is our tendency to separate nature from our life it results in violence against nature and people See, what is the cause of this disharmony? The reason is that our tendency to separate nature from our life. We are not considering nature as part of our life. That is the reason for the disharmony with the nature. South African environmentalist Cormac Cullinan points out, Apartheid. Have you heard, heard this word? Apartheid 
is a system of racial separatism non white people are discriminated from the white so apartheid is a system of segregation uh, white people and non white people are considered as separate people separate entities so they are discriminated the white people are considered as superior and the black people are considered as inferior so what cormac cullinan pointed out he said that world united against this evil practice of separating people based on color now exists another kind of apartheid that is called ecological or eco apartheid that is separating human beings from nature so apartheid is a system of segregating dividing human beings based on color and the world has fought against it but today another type of apartheid is existing and it is called eco apartheid separating human beings from nature and now we are moving on to uh, para a 13 and 14 and page number 73 you can see a heading the dead earth world view dead earth world view this separation between man and earth affected us affected us very badly earth was transformed into a dead matter for the purpose of industrial revolution planting single crops affected diversity once upon a time our earth was energetic now earth was seen as a source of raw materials only mother earth or terra madre was replaced by empty land of or terra nullius so what is said here is that this a uh, concept of separation of human beings and mother earth it affected us very badly earth was transformed into a non living entity a dead matter for the purpose of industrial revolution so factories are constructed modern technology is being brought forth but we are forgetting nature planting single crops affected diversity planting single crops means that is called a monoculture because a single type of clo- uh, crops uh, is planted over and over again in that particular place it affected diversity so once upon a time our earth was energetic now earth is looked upon as a place for raw materials for our industry only so our earth our mother earth or terra madre was replaced by empty land francis bacon has pointed out that science and inventions science and inventions if not properly used have the power to conquer and subdue nature you can see here the uh, image of atom bomb so if not properly used science and technology can destroy our nature so para 15 robert boyle in your school classes you might have heard about robert boyle robert boyle was a scientist he wanted to take away the concept of nature followed by the native indians native indians means not we indians instead indians here means the old settlers of america so native people considered nature as a goddess they can observe that such respect for nature is not good for human domination of nature you might have heard that the people of the forest the native people they considered uh, nature as goddess or god they used to respect plants animals trees etc so francis bacon an englishman scientist he was of the opinion that such a respect being given to nature 
that is not necessary uh, it is against uh, it, it it will not uh, it is not good for human domination over nature so if we respect something too much we will not dominate it so uh, francis bacon says that such a uh, respect for nature is not good and uh, para 16 considering nature as dead was in fact an attack on nature considering nature as dead it was an attack on nature caroline merchant was a philosopher and historian uh, she observed that she observed that considering earth as living to considering earth as dead would lead to capitalism so you know capitalism is an economic system is an economic system uh, which uh, gives more importance to profit so considering earth as earth as a living thing and from there we moved on to a concept that considering earth as dead this would lead to capitalism a profit based system this type of scientific revolution resulted in the exploitation of nature it is like killing our mother and uh, taking out gold from within merchant observed so this attitude that is nature as dead it is actually an attack against nature and uh, it would lead to capitalism then it would lead to exploitation of nature and it is like killing our mother and taking out the gold within you can see an image here human beings are trying to uh, destroy earth the caption says that we are killing mother earth and it is time to think for ourselves so we are stopping here for the time being uh listen to this video watch this video uh very carefully and understand the concept we will continue the lesson in the next video thank you